let's move on from that one. Oh, okay. Ooh, not ooh, actually. Um, sad news, actually, in this regard. Um, I guess somehow Mixed Mag have got a hold of the preliminary autopsy from Eric Murillo or because of Eric Murillo's death, they've been able to uh, disclose that it was uh, ruled as an accidental drug overdose. This is from Mixed Mag, so Eric Murillo's death was an accidental drug overdose. The preliminary autopsy report says Murillo died of acute ketamine toxicity. So as I'm sure most of you are aware, Eric Murillo was uh, found dead in his um, house in i'm gonna say miami is it miami one of those places right and of course this is off the back of numerous people coming out and alleging um eric Murillo of some indecent instances he was due to be in court and of course you know a couple of weeks or a few weeks before that he's found dead in his place and people kind of just automatically oh surmised that he obviously took his own life but now the autopsy has come out and says it was supposedly an accidental overdose so this is an article here from mixed max the following eric Murillo's death has been ruled as an accidental preliminary report uh, by the Miami Dade County Medical Examiner Department. Mixed Mag has obtained a copy of the report which says Murillo died of acute ketamine toxicity. It also lists intoxicants, intoxication from MDMA and cocaine as a contributor to his death. Mamma mia. MDMA, cocaine, and ket. The preliminary autopsy was currently developed by Dr. Emma O. Liu on September the 2nd. It, it states on the basis of investigation, the probate manner of death is the accident. So, no foul play, no one was involved, just probably him um, drowning in his sorrows, I guess, or just trying to get some relief from whatever allegations that were there. It continues here it says Eric Miller was found dead on the morning of September the 1st in his Miami Beach home. Um, he had been due to be in court on September the 4th. Jesus, freed days before that's crazy um to face charges relating to him committing sexual battery on a woman which obviously was a story that we heard that was really egregious uh it was supposed to involve the fellow dj's um lady of interest or something along those lines that's allegedly what i've heard and um yeah she was we kind of resisted his sexual advances she moves into another room to try and get some sleep before she goes home and then when she wakes up you know um the deceased is naked next to her bed and for some odd reason people were get people were defending eric Murillo for doing so no the, people actually were defending his honor i guess when he passed because they were like hey he might have done what he done but let's respect him in his death which you know i don't have any opinion on because you know whatever but i do understand from the side of the women involved and the people who are victims of sexual assault or just women in general right to see somebody that was accused of something so heinous being essentially lauded over the timeline at the time or eulogized was really bizarre um especially when those same people will definitely be the ones to come out and say you know we have to protect women and we have to uplift female voices and stuff to go around posting pictures of him on your time and just seem a bit in poor taste and again like I mentioned previously, a lot of those eulogies weren't done um, to respect his honor. They were more done to clout chase, right? If you are really his friend, you could have easily paid your respects in private, sent his parents some money, organize or, the, you know, organize the, organize the stuff for the funeral and the wake and whatever it may be. Just been there as a friend and connected with his actual real friends who aren't on a the timeline. There are things that you could have done if you're actually his friend. But because most people aren't friends and they just pretend and they want to appear like they're cool with somebody, especially when I saw people posting images of themselves or Eric Miller in the 90s and stuff, right, in the 80s to show law. I've known him since this time. It was clear what people are doing. They were just cloud chasing, right, which is obs obscene to say the least right that you're cloud chasing of somebody's untimely death especially you know considering what was going on around his name at the time and then of course naturally people were upset about it and then the people that were posting you were getting upset the people that were getting upset it was just a very odd thing so i guess maybe in con in conclusion this is a good thing that i guess we got some closure in this and we can you know we can maybe if you're not respect the dead and if not respect his um legacy at least respect his death right in death right so like now he's passed now that chapter's been closed and again there's no closure for the victim which is the most egregious and saddening part of this right the victims were in the process of claiming some justice in the courts but that day's never gonna come but i guess you know what else can we do at this moment in time um it continues to said um da, 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 at least 10 more women have come forward with accusations which were heavy i'll let you read that link yourself of rape and sexual assault against a new york born dj the autopsy case is not yet closed and a final report is expected within the next fortnight um it's interesting they're saying they still need more time to judge what's going on i don't think you can 
accidentally die from taking MDMA, cocaine and ketamine, right? That's obviously some sort of purposely done cocktail to just kind of knock you out, I would assume, for the most part, right? Because that's a lot of heavy drugs to take in one, uh, in one go, especially when you mix that with alcohol. I would imagine, right, he was probably on a bit of booze as well. So um, those are definitely things that you do when you probably want to tap out and you've probably had enough of things and you're maybe scared to do it any other way. I'm not too sure. Again, this is me just kind of hypothesizing based on the news I've heard. But um, I guess, again, this maybe is an opportunity to maybe move on from this. Hopefully lessons can be learned as a scene, as an industry. I doubt it because, you know, the way that people were defending the things that he'd done on social media was just insane. Again, I get it if you're his friend, but again, defend your friend in private go and support his parent, his parents, his family members, whoever it may be who will need his help, who are kind of depending on his income. You know, there's ways to kind of be supportive. You don't need to be arguing people on the timeline. All the arguments were ridiculous um, on both sides. Uh, people not being able to understand one person's position. But then again, like I said, the most egregious thing was to seeing these DJs going up on, on their timeline and deciding to post eulogies of him just so that they can show off that they know the guy before anyone else. Do you know what I mean? So not exactly honoring his, not exactly honoring his death, instead trying to profiteer off him themselves by positioning themselves next to him. But hopefully, again, lessons can be learned in some regard in terms of just how we protect women in the dance music scene about how people conduct themselves especially some of the higher um you know established uh djs with a bit more notoriety behind them you know just being in a place where we can treat each other with respect no matter if it's people you're sexually interested in or not there needs to be a place I, again I, i'll give this prayer and i know it's naive but that's my hope that these places that we're going to these nightclubs these underground institutions they should be our safe space right because we're essentially all going there with one common interest with one common uh love right this our uh, love for music this love for dj culture right this love for whatever genre of scene that you're in this is why we're going to these events to share these things with strangers and this space whatever it may be it captures a moment it reminds you of a certain time we should be able to provide that safe space for each other so that we can let our hair down and enjoy ourselves right Bergheim shouldn't Bergheim and these kind of places shouldn't be anomalies right most clubs should operate like this that serve our community they should operate in this way where they provide a safe space for us to go and enjoy music without us feeling as if we're going to be you know um, preyed upon by some unscrupulous characters that's how it should be so again hopefully lessons are learned um, with the death of Eric Murillo it's good that we've got some sort of closure on it um, and that's where of course for the victim there's no closure because he hasn't been brought to justice for the crimes that he allegedly done but hopefully this is a point where people can move on learn some lessons from it and not repeat these errors again and for all the djs that are going on they're posting eulogies about him hopefully they're ashamed of themselves because that was disgusting absolutely disgusting